Hey gang, welcome back to Big Boy. Just a quick, this is literally a plug. Uh, I was gonna do an overview of the magazine, but I've done. I've tried to do this video three times and made a mess of it, uh, just for a whole variety of reasons. So, quick little plug. If you're not interested in plugs and don't care about magazines, then, you know, move on, dislike, do whatever you need to do to uh, make yourself feel good. But I wanted to give people or raise awareness about uh, the War Game Journal War Diary magazine. Uh, great content in here. It has uh, uh, always has uh, some interesting articles in here. So Four Roads to Paris is uh, overviewed and reviewed. A little heart and strategy uh, discussion about the fall of France. Great article. A highly detailed and if you're a war gamer who's a little bit OCD, you're going to love this article by Michael Sage. Uh, I wonder if you can read those things. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to show you some of the pages in a sec. Just gone off the chain with a Russian campaign uh, weather variant. It's it's almost comically good. Uh, this article, not so impressed with because of the sourcing material that's used here. And I'll leave it at that. Uh, Wing and a Prayer, great game from Lock and Load Publishing that I've had a chance to play just the one time. But uh, Curtis does a great overview of that. And uh, Hans has a fantastic overview of Aachen 1944 uh, cro crossing the line. I think that should be crossing the line, uh, not closing the line. Never mind. Uh, so, VUCA Simulations, it, the, the publisher, the, uh, not the publisher, the, um, yeah, it is crossing the line. Uh, what's his name? Dirk. Uh, so Dirk's last name is in here somewhere. I see this is why I had to redo the video because I, I missed this completely last time. Dirk is the guy that made Von Manstein's Backhand Blow from GMT. Great game, love that system. I was unaware that there were prior games that used the modified version of that. However, uh, Dirk using that system uh, has updated and refined the uh, Piercing the Reich game and turned it into this. Played this game, only a handful of turns, and I intend to come back to it and play it opposed because it has that great feel to it. It's gonna be much, much better opposed, but you can play it uh, solo very well. They're doing, uh, redoing a lot of Dirk's games, and there are some newer games that uh, he is coming out with, so that is well worth uh, taking a look at. And it's a great article. It breaks down how the game actually works very, very well. It's pretty, pretty darn accurate. Uh, this this article, you know, I'm okay. I'm okay with this. I think we could have asked some more harder hitting, penetrating questions, Roy. Uh, uh, by when, when when he interviewed Tim Tao, and then there's a couple of uh, capsule book reviews as well. Twenty bucks a year, I think it is, or maybe it's. Here it is, published four times a year. Okay, it's $36, I lied. Uh, $36 in the US, uh, but you do get a, you get some sort of credit with lock and load or, or something like that where you can actually run, uh, you can actually get a free print and play game uh, that they will publish on demand and send to you uh, if you subscribe to these guys. So let's have a quick look, right? Just, the, oh, it's pretty high quality print out, uh, nice, uh, Sorry about the, the zooming around here. Nice artwork in here. I'm just, I'm just skimming through this real quick for you. A little, little heart artic articles. There's quite a few ads in here this time, which is probably good for Roy. Now the weather variant. This guy goes off the chain, puts, a, puts all the weather into zones, has all these tables in here, uh, it keeps on going and going, then a different weather in 41 and 42. Standard movement allowance charts tells you how the movement rates are going to change, and then there's more charts, and then there's some more charts, and then there's stuff you can make up your own shit with. It's incredible. Uh, Antonio's article, uh, we'll just leave that at that. It's not a bad article. It's not an awesome article. Uh, Wing and a Prayer, great review of Wing and a Prayer. Nice uh, summary job of how the game works and plays and the decision making that you go through. And then, as I already mentioned, this is a fantastic uh, review of uh, Crossing 
uh, crossing the line. All right, wanted to give that guy a little plug because I don't think enough people know about Roy's Magazine. And if you do and you haven't subscribed, maybe you should, yada, yada, yada. All right, all the best. Talk to you soon.